Hi, hello, my name is Gabby Owl. Today I'm bringing a new format to my channel for fun. Uh, I call them short positive reviews, and uh, I'm gonna list down the list of my rules right here. They're supposed to be short, so I don't wanna crowd the time, but you can pause to read if you want. But yeah, too long didn't read. I am tired of looking for stuff that I like online and only seeing negative reviews, so I wanna break that cycle by doing short positive reviews. And today I'm gonna start with my favorite book that I've like read in so long, uh, called Iron Widow by Xuan Zhao. This book was incredible. <laughs> And also disclaimer, the names of the characters are all in Chinese. One thing that I got really disappointed with uh, looking at this stuff online is a lot of people being like, oh, I'm going to butcher these names. And like, quite frankly, I probably will too, but I think it's really shitty to be like, I will butcher these names and then not even try. <laughs> So, I have this little TikTok um, on reference at the moment as I'm recording to make sure I don't misplace any of the characters' names. How to pronounce the Chinese names, places, and things in my book Iron Widow. Zetian, Yi Zhi, Shi Ming, Sima Yi, Zhuge Liang, An Lu Shan, Du Gu Qie Luo, Yang Guang, Yang Jian, Hua Xia, Hun Dun, Rong Di. I feel like I want to be as respectful as possible for that book because it deserves that. So uh, the way I'm going to do this review, I'm taking for, I'm going to have a without spoilers at the beginning and with spoilers. So right now there's no spoilers, but pretty soon there's going to be a spoiler. So hi. So the book is about this character named Zetian, which is, <laughs> she is based upon the only female emperor, empress of China. And um, she's really badass. She's really cool. If you want more information on the character, you should really go see the author's YouTube because the way they talk about it, it, it just shows that they have so much love for the character. And so yeah, the book goes um, into Zetian's life and how she really, really wants to murder this mecha driver because he killed her sister. I'm not going to go into plot because I want you to go blind, but this book is about mechas. It's about fighting the patriarchy. <laughs> it's about a very strong woman protagonist that is not shy of her womanhood, but also not shy of her how strong she is. It involves a main character that is also disabled. It includes a lot of different kind of romance. It uses revenge plots. It uses a morally gray to morally wrong character, but it is also so justified in her anger. This book has everything that you could wish for in this sick thing that is, it, it's, it's so great. It's so different. I'm not going to go too far into the plot, but also it has like very cool concept of mechas that are so described as very artistically crafted and cool it has an elemental based fighting strategies <laughs> seriously it has everything it's so cool the style i don't like to compare that much but the style is very comparable to my favorite book of all time before then which was the younger games in which it's a first person talk it's it happens in the present so you feel fresh you feel in the action you feel really like on your toes at every given moment and it's action-packed, but also metaphysical. It goes into, like, philosophy, but also attack. It's packed with mythology because the author clearly is very interested in their mythology and their culture, and it's embedded with all of this amalgamations of great things, and it makes this book really unique. Um, personally, I really, really think that this book is going to have an impact on YA for the future, because there is no way that this book doesn't impact the way that we see, feel, and consume young adult because it's so good it's it's so fucking good it's really really good i really like the concepts i really like the monsters i really like the everything everything it's such a good book i really really like there's a lot of cool 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 scenes um this book has a romance subplot but that is not in your face like it's not about romance and it has a very cool twist which Jean Zhao has posted online to like promote the book, but I will leave you discover it because it is really, really good. The cast is incredible. Yizhu is, I love him. I, I, what is there to say? He is the best character. These characters are great. I love the themes. I love the plot. The ending, not gonna lie, the last 50 pages of the book made me react to a book the way I have never reacted before. I'm going to switch into spoiler territories right now uh, with another drawing, but if you have not seen or read or dealt with anything about Iron Widow, I'm implying you to do it right now. If anything sounded interesting, you should go in blind. It's going to be a better 
um, it's going to be more fun for you, but please do that. And now for the spoiler part of it. So I'm not going to go into the plot at all. I'm If you're here, I'm supposing that you have read Iron Widow and you want to talk about it. That fucking scene at the end where Ij, which I'm drawing right now, but that scene where he kills his father is so cool. When Xu Ming dies... Ah! <laughs> I know he's technically not dead, but when he like... There's like 40 pages left to the book and then he's just gone. And then Sidian gets so mad and she goes feral it's so good and then when the golden the yellow dragon comes into play and then the twist that the, the twist that the chrysalises that were made for the hunduns but they are in fact the, the concept that they are actually like native to the planet and the humans are in fact the invasive species was a really interesting twist and i'm so excited to see where they go with that i thought that the scenes like the action, the way that Shiran wrote the book and the way that they like timed it out, I thought that the timing was really, really great is what I'm trying to say. I thought that there was like the right amount of ups and downs and I thought it was really, really enticing, very, very intriguing and you wanted to read more. I couldn't put the book down for a long while. I mean, but it was such a good book. I, if you have read that, I hope you agree too and I hope you reread it. I'm super excited for the second book, which I'm still claiming. I still hope it's the uh, Heaven's Tyrants or something like that. I still hope from like your if Sharon sees that, I hope that from your TikTok contest, I one of them was right. But yeah, I'm really, really excited uh for the rest. I'm super excited for Zachary Yang. I think it's gonna be so so good. I've already started seeing reviews from people who got it first, and the feedback's incredible, which I'm so excited about because uh I just I, I love this book. And I hope everything else is good. And I hope I can continue because I really think that Xiong Zhao is going to make a big splash in the world of YA and of reading contemporary right now. And I really, really hope that they get more traction still. And yeah, that, that's it. I'm so excited for the future and I'm so excited for this. And this might be the first video, but one thing that I really want to do in all of them is a little, a final score um they're arbitrary they're just what i think iron widow being the first i think it makes sense that the first one that i chose for those reviews would be my first 10 out of 10. i really 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 love this book here's the quick slideshow So thanks a lot for coming to my first uh, short book review, uh, short review. I'm gonna do them a lot more frequently than I do the other stuff. The goal is really like to do them as fast as possible because like YouTube is really much a uh, side fun that I do. And the thing is that I, I spend a lot of time on it and it makes it really hard to post it while I'm in school. When I do these short reviews, then I can only do like one drawing and post that and be done and edit it in a day. And that's the goal. So thanks for coming. You can follow me on everywhere right here and um, see you soon. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the next one in the Atlas Sex, which I also really liked. See ya.